Hi there. Today is the second day in um, my eight-part series of how to write good positive affirmations and visualization. So step two is to make sure your affirmations are phrased in a positive manner. Always in a positive manner. So you want to emphasize not um, not what you're trying to change, but what the end result is going to be. So, for example, instead of saying, I never miss, I never miss a workout, say, I keep my workout commitments. See, just a slight difference. The second one is a lot more positively said. And you also, um, you don't want to phrase it in a way that's going to bring up or use the words of whatever it is you're trying to change. So say, for instance, you're trying to stop uh, smoking cigarettes. Instead of saying, I no longer have the desire to smoke cigarettes, you would say, I am fully committed to breathing only clean air. <laughs> just as an example. See the difference in the first one? You're, you're still using the words and phrases that bring up the problem. And so that's where your mind's going to go. It's going to go to the cigarettes. Or say, for instance, um, you have a really tough time giving up sweets, but you know you need to because you want to lose weight. And your, one of your biggest weaknesses is cookies. It's because that's one of mine. <laughs> so instead of saying, I no longer have the, or I will no longer eat cookies, that's going to make me think about cookies, right? Instead of saying that, I would say something like, I am committed to making healthy food choices. See the difference? Where is my mind going to go on each one of these affirmations? So it's very important that you always emphasize them. Um, in a positive way and um, hopefully that makes a little uh, enough sense to you so that when you're thinking of your affirmations you want to picture your end result goal okay and remember your you have short-term goals to help you get to the end result goal but say your end result goal is to run a half marathon in your mind when you're thinking of an of affirmations um, that will help you along the way to that goal. You want to think about how is it going to feel. You know, close your eyes if you need to. How is it going to feel when I accomplish that goal? So picture yourself cross, crossing the finish line of that first half marathon. How do you feel? How amazing is that? Picture that scene and those feelings in your mind. Use those types of feelings and that picture to inspire what your affirmations will be. So, step two, make sure you keep your affirmations positive. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next step. Have a good day.